Oh, wow. Jumping ahead, guys. My face was amazing. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Ooh. In today's video, we are talking about Rodeal. Today, we are using the Rodeal B Venom Cleansing Balm. This is the second Rodeal B Venom product that I have tried. The first product I tried was the Rodeal B Venom Mini Serum. Serum. It was a serum that I tried and I really love that serum. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you check that out. I'm gonna have that down below, so make sure you check that out. Anyway guys, before I keep you here for any longer than I already have, let's get into this cleansing balm. Okay guys, so before we take off the makeup, I'm just gonna read some background on this Rodeal B Venom cleansing balm. This is 100 ml. I actually bought this from TK Maxx a couple of weeks ago I was just wandering around and I saw this and because I'd actually had my eye on this cleanser for a couple of months I think it was it's been since October November time I've had a tab open <laughs> on my laptop literally consistently so I decided I'd just buy it and I bought this for $29.99 but this retails for £65 on the website so what a bargain I feel like Rojo has literally taken over TK Maxx so make sure you head down there if you want to try and get your hands on this or some other Rojo products if you guys have watched this channel before then you know that I really love and adore Rojo skincare products I have actually tried their B Venom serum I loved that serum I thought it was really good really amazing it was very hydrating surprisingly it made my skin feel really smooth and nice so I'm hoping that this will also do something similar which I think it should do this has like five out of five stars 34 reviews on the Rojo website Website, which is always promising we love to see positive things like that and they describe this cleansing balm as a luxurious balm that turns into a milky toner upon contact with water this brightening cleansing balm formula gently cleanses skin whilst melting away makeup use cleanser daily to keep the skin soft supple and bright wonder ingredient B venom works to plump fine lines and wrinkles and firms the skin whilst almond jojoba and wheat gem oils soften the skin and amino acids and salicylic acids improve the appearance of uneven skin tone ideal for those with dry skin looking to brighten and firm the skin the other day i noticed that around my nose area was peeling like literally peeling flaky skin horrible so i'm looking forward to trying this to see how that will help with you know my skin and dryness and things like that as well as just to take off my makeup this has four main key ingredients this has b venom which plumps and smooths fine lines and wrinkles vitamin c brightens the complexion and helps reduce the appearance of pigmentation salicylic acid exfoliates and gently unclogs pores water lily extract reduces signs of skin irritation redness and inflammation love that and then in terms of texture they describe this as a a rich non-sticky balm which emulsifies into a milky toner on application of water and then they say in terms of how to use massage two pumps of the balm onto dry skin and then splash warm water on the face to allow the balm to transform into a milky cleanser wash off with warm water because I'm not in my bathroom I'm not gonna do this in the conventional way I'm gonna use my flannel just to wipe things off I have I've got my bowl of water down here and yeah that is basically it in terms of description so I'm gonna go and just make myself a bit more presentable so it's easier for me to remove my makeup and then we will jump right in so as we can see I've got some blush mascara a bit of bronzer foundation I've got the whole lot on my face I think I've only seen one person use this and that was I always forget what her name is Tara but there is an influencer that I used to follow who always used this cleansing balm to remove her makeup so excited to finally be trying it let's get into it let's talk about some first impressions while I use this first of all I was really under the impression that this would be like an actual balm like a waxy balm similar to the Elemis pro collagen cleansing balm but this is literally it's like a liquid it's kind of oily maybe I didn't read it right I can't even like scroll up the page I just really thought that it was like an actual balm like a solid balm but it's more liquidy but I love how it just you know it takes everything off like already I've not even like wiped anything off but you can see like my spots come back my dark spots have come back everything has come back in terms of smell this smells exactly <laughs> i don't know why i thought this would smell nice i literally thought this was gonna smell like honey or something sweet something different but this smells exactly the same as the serum so if you've tried the b venom serum you haven't tried this balm this smells exactly like the serum if you've not tried the serum or the balm this smells like 
what does this smell like this kind of smells like a scented hand cream but not in a nice way my issue with Rojo is that their products don't smell the nicest their products are amazing and they work really well but the smell isn't always there and this has the trademark Rodeo smell if you've used Rodeo products in the past you may know what I'm talking about again if you haven't it's just a fragranted perfumey hand cream not my favorite smell but it works really well let me just put some on my eyelids for the most part this is literally what we are looking like and this is what my hands are looking like so i'm just going to dip my hand into my bowl of water and show you what it looks like once it's been emulsified So I've just wet my fingers and when I do rub it on, it just kind of makes it into like a milky color. If you've used like cleansing oils or anything like that, then you'll know what this is like. This is very similar to the Fresh Sea Breeze Skin Nutrition Cleansing Oil and it just goes like a lighter shade of what you look like. So this is kind of like a pale brown, whereas the rest of my face is quite orange. I'm gonna just like wet the rest of my face to make it a bit easier to take it off and just really like massage it in. This helps to really break down makeup, oil, dirt, grease, pollution, all the rest of it. So that when you rinse it off, you're left with a nice looking skin. So I think that will do for now. And then now I'm just gonna go in with my flannel and we're gonna wipe everything away. And I think one of the benefits of using a flannel though is that the flannel can gently exfoliate your skin and just help to take off a bit more dirt. Also make sure you're using a soft flannel because you don't want to be like pulling at your skin. Soft flannels are just nice. They're really gentle on the skin, they don't like really tug at the skin. I've still got mascara on. That's because I didn't put it like specifically on my eye area. But I'm just gonna go over my eyes. Actually I'm gonna go over this again, just go over my full head and just use it to really clean my eyes water emulsifier I feel like everything has come off and that is that and I used a bit on the back so that is that ordinarily if I was feeling a bit extra I might do like a face mask oh wow jumping ahead guys my face was amazing it feels so soft and like plump and really hydrated this is not stripping at all. This feels very similar to the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm, but different. I can't quite put my finger on how this is a bit different. Like maybe my face feels less full. Like when I use the Elemis Cleansing Balm, my face feels so plump and rich and luxurious. My face still feels plump, but it feels less rich, but it feels like, I don't know. It feels like the ingredients are working on my face. I don't think the Elemis cleanser has any active ingredients, but because this does, this has quite a few. This has salicylic acid, waterly extract, vitamin C, and the B venom. And I think just those active acids in the product, I can kind of feel them in my skin. It feels really nice. It does feel different to the Elemis cleansing balm. I think if I was to compare them, oh, that's a tough one. I think if I was to compare them, I would probably go with the Elemis Cleansing Balm. Sorry, Radio. Just because it does give you a nice, rich, fully rich, fully plump feeling on your skin. But I think because the Rodeo Balm actually has like active ingredients in it, maybe the Rodeo one. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to decide between them. I think also because I actually have skin concerns. <laughs> so I think for my skin, the Rodeo one is probably best because it can help tackle my dark spots, uneven skin tone, and all of that stuff whereas i think the elemis one is just for like rich glowy plump skin and hydration but Ooh. No, my face feels so good. It literally was amazing. Anyway, guys, so now that that is done, ordinarily I would probably do like a face mask. I'd probably use a gel cleanser just to make sure that I've gotten everything off. But for the purposes of today's video and the fact that it's quarter to three in the afternoon, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go into a skincare routine. Also, 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 guys, they say that this turns into a toner. And I think because it is also a toner, like I don't want to rinse off any of the benefits. So I think when I use this, I will just use this as it is. But maybe Make sure to rinse my face thoroughly oh wow guys i'm looking at the back of this bottle and this also has vitamin e which is good for antioxidant protection and this has the melatonin peptide b venom which plumps and firms wrinkle appearance so like i said it is quarter to three so i'm going to so i'm not sure what kind of skin routine i should do next because it is the afternoon i'm going to do a paired back version of my morning skin routine just because i have a yoga class in a couple 
couple of hours so there's no point in me doing a nighttime routine also the sun is still out ordinarily though when i use this cleansing balm will probably be at night so i would follow this up with an evening skincare routine but for the purposes of today's video i'm not going to be doing that okay gang so i'm back clean face skincare has been done nice nice okay so quick first impressions on this balm first of all i like this balm am i surprised not really because i like rodeo products i don't know why i really thought it was going to smell nice does it smell nice no it does not smell nice but i think that when it comes to rodeo products at this point you already know that they don't smell nice so it is what it is it's fine this is a really good effective cleanser so if you wear makeup you're looking for a new cleanser you want to do a balm slash oil cleanser this is really 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 good they say that it's a cleansing balm but i would most liking this to an oil this is 100 a liquid they say that you need two pumps for me i'd probably go in with three pumps but then again i am a bit extra and i guess depending on how much makeup you wear how dirty your skin is how much you want to clean then you may want to do three pumps you may want to stick to two pumps you may even want to do four pumps if you want to give your skin a really nice deep clean what i really love about this cleansing balm that sets it apart from the elemis pro collagen cleansing balm as well as the fresh sea breeze skin nutrition cleansing oil is that this has active ingredients if you're like me and your face is problematic af and likes to show off about different things you want products that have active ingredients in it that are just going to be helping your skin Skin. so i like that this has salicylic acid which will gently exfoliate your skin this also has melatonin peptide b venom which helps to smooth out fine lines and wrinkles this has vitamin c water lily extract which helps to brighten your skin tone and even your skin tone as well this also has vitamin e which helps keeping your skin nicely moisturized i love that rojo said that this is great for people with dry skin who want to brighten their skin because guys my skin is so dry just don't hold out much hope about the smell speaking of the smell i can smell it still now it's lingering even after i've wiped this off i know my other skincare products this is still lingering this smells like i've said perfumey this definitely has a scent to it so if you don't like scent you don't like fragrances back off you've been warned this is probably not the thing for you but if you don't mind a fragrance then you may be inclined to give this a try do i like the smell of this no but i prefer that this didn't smell like this 100 but what can you do i'm going to be using this as my new makeup remover and i'll probably use it every other night i guess depending just to cleanse my face in the evening because this isn't just for makeup removal this is for overall skin goodness and the way that my face is acting and has been acting recently i need all of the ingredients that i can to just help clear up breakouts and to clear up my dark marks and pigmentation issues that is everything if you guys have any questions on this cleansing balm let me know down below in the comments if you guys are fans of rojo and you have rojo products that you think i might like to try let me know down below in the comments and yeah don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and in the meantime i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.